Hello friend, welcome back. What is Selector Sub? Selector Sub is a next-gen XPath and Selectors plugin which helps you guys to write your own XPath, CSS selectors, playwright locators, and any kind of selectors. It has many many features which help you in many ways like learning about XPath locators, learning about DOM, XPath syntax, CSS selector syntax, error handling, etc. Also helps a lot with it with its auto generating xpath and selectors saves a huge huge amount of time you can open selectors up just in one click it supports iframe shadow dom svg etc pretty much every kind of locators every kind of uh, elements on the web page let me show you how you can install it how you can get started and if you will be facing any kind of problem this tutorial will help you i'm preparing this tutorial with the latest version of selectors up so here on selectorsub.com you will find the very first tool selector sub there are many other tools as well which we offer and help you guys to save your time pretty much everything is free here like test case studio recorder plugin testing daily to get the latest news update auto test data to get to generate the fake test data check my links to test the all the links of your web page and many other, other tools are there so do check out them let us talk about the selector sub xpath plugin so here you click on selector sub it will open the selector sub uh, home page so this is the recently new newly designed the uh, web page so you can see that here you will find the uh, pretty much everything about selector sub all those things now here suppose we want to install it on chrome so you just click on add to chrome if you want to install it on any other browser like it is available for pretty much every browser so just click on that you will find it available for chrome edge opera firefox chromium brave tor so here let's say we want to install it for chrome so just click on this here and you will find it here on uh, chrome store you can see that more than 300k right now it's using uh, actively on chrome and then featured everything is uh, absolutely fine you can see add to chrome button click on this to install it on your chrome browser click on add extension so now this got installed successfully here are a few of the steps this page will open so you can see that uh, what you need to do what you need not to do after installation so just click on this after installing selector sub you will not find the selector sub logo here on the toolbar so what you need to do click on this default extension icon and then you can pin it to toolbar selector sub now you will see it here so selector sub has been installed successfully and we have pinned it to toolbar generally what happens like we used to open new tab to use any particular extension or sometimes we just open new tab and we in the blank tab like this is right now blank tab this page is testing daily page that's a different matter so you see that many times what you will do what people start doing that they start trying to use selectors up here but it will not work because this is a blank tab we need to open a website okay anyways i will come to this later first let's see how you can open selectors up and where you can see so suppose we open google.com here so to open selectors up you can just open selectors up in one click now you need not to like open dev tools or anything you have to do just click on the selectors up logo and it will open like this isn't it amazing like you can here you have access of all the web page all the tabs here open you just use the selector sub inspector icon here inspector button to inspect any element like you use dev tools one and just click on this and that's how it used to work here you see that all auto generated selectors xpath everything you will find it here and then many other features are there you can also open it like you if you don't want to open it here you can also open it in dev tools just right click click on inspect and here you will see that selector sub will come here <coughs> by default okay so by default selector sub will come as a last tab here because we have pinned it to the first position so it is there so by default you will see selector sub will not might not be visible here like on the left side you will find the dom on the right side is styles so what you have to do just click on double arrow here and selector sub you will find it here click on this and this is where you can see the selector sub also you can just drag and drop and keep it as a first position to use it so that like next time when you will open you will find it selectors up quickly but we recommend like you just use selectors up directly by clicking on the logo you you need not to open dev tools and need not to put a lot of effort okay cool so this is how you can install and open selectors up make sure that after installing selectors up you restart the browser because what happens like uh, 
if you start using because see we have uh, install selectors up and open open it here these were the tabs like first tab was open before we install selectors up so if you will try to start if you will try to use selectors up here for this tab which was already open it will not work it will show this kind of error so this means that you need to open a tab in uh, like again this website in a new tab or restart the browser because for already existing open tab for open tab it will not work after, after installation so once you restart the browser then it will work forever for all the tabs only for the first time you need to restart better or open website into the new tab also don't use it on the blank tab this is a blank tab there is no url you see here make sure that there is a url okay either it should be google.com or any website there should be a url in the uh, tab uh, like address bar without that it will not work so this will be uh, this is the major thing which you might face initially when you will start and after that you can get going <clears throat> okay now how you can uh, use it and what all other features are there so let me show you that it works everything perfectly fine for each and every element so you just select the inspector to generate any kind of selectors any element you just inspect you will get all the information about that all the possible selectors xpath css selector relative xpath index base xpath test trigger path jquery name class name everything is being generated here you can see that how many matching nodes are there for this one 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 and here you see name there are four class name there are four eight matching nodes so this is here it shows the matching node if you want to copy any value just click on this copy icon or anywhere here it will copy the value if you want to edit this value just click on this and it, you can edit the value in the uh, input box here like this you can verify if you want to make any changes you can make the changes if it, there will be any error in, in your xpath or css selector it will highlight like this invalid xpath close square bracket missing so you will learn and you can fix those kind of issues and if you want to like let's say you want to write an xpath for this particular element just inspect that and you can start writing here you see that you can start writing like this so this way you can write your own xpath and css selector and you can make your uh, own xpath or css selector or playwright selectors as well also like if you are writing like let's say you are writing this xpath you will see that all possible combinations of permutation combination of attribute and selector it is showing here if you select this you can make this xpath but now you want to write a new xpath you want to save this value so you can save this value you just click on plus icon here and the value will be saved here so you see that click on this the value got saved here and now when you will click here you will see that value here so whenever you want you can just uh, like click on the uh, type here value then click on this plus button whenever you want to access this value like let's say i deleted this value and now i want to access that previous one you can click here and so you will find it here apart from this there are many other feature you can see that attribute code pom xpath healing debugger feature code all these features will help you guys a lot like let's say right now it is generating with id but this id seems like dynamic so here you see that it looks uh, it alert you it gives you an alert that there is this id looks dynamic so uncheck the id attribute so let's say you want to generate without id so here you have an attribute filter feature click on this and now you uncheck this you see that it is generating without id so this way you can generate without id as well if you want to generate with any uh, attribute which you want that you can pass the attribute name here for this detailed tutorial about this attribute filter just click on this i icon and you will watch this uh, please find watch this tutorial for more detail like so basically like with every feature here in selector sub there is a tutorial attached with the i icon or question mark so please do watch that and it will help you guys to save a lot of time and you will learn about that next feature is like here you see that uh, this is generating double forward slash input at the rate id whatever it is so you copy this you can copy this but when you will go and uh, put this value in your editor you will have to add that driver dot find element command right so what if like you want to get this complete command you can get that complete command so here you see that code button click on this and now you see that you are getting the complete value so you can directly copy this value and paste it in your uh, code or in your IntelliJ or wherever in, in smart editor so that you will not miss anything like you will not have to type basically that thing like if i show you so you can directly copy paste this value in your editor 
and it can be it can be you can change it to anything like it is just for java selenium like let's say right now but you are working with selenium with python or selenium with ruby or page object model anything that you just select here from the drop down and it will generate like that kind of command so this will like you just copy this go to your editor and you can paste that value here you need not to type anything and you will notice that here it also gives the name of the element as well right so this way it comes here if you have uh, like any other like you are working with cypress you can select this cy.get and it will automatically generate with that also like let's say we have it here like this okay now you want to generate a locator page so you can generate the locator page as well for multiple elements you can generate the xpath in one shot so you see that click on this pom page and now start inspecting all the elements for which you want to generate so this goes very very helpful like this just keep on inspecting one by one all the element and you see that it, the locator page is generated you can click on copy all button go back to your uh, editor and here you can paste the value so this is how you can generate the locator page just in few clicks very fast and it can of course you can change the command here you can watch the detailed tutorial about it then we have the xpath healing and in fact like this feature is like even much more faster in the pro version let me just quick glance give you here you see that this is the pro version if you click on this code here and the pom page you can change the command here like let's say this one and here in the inspector you just select once and you can just click on all the elements one by one and there will you need not to select the inspector again and again and you see that how fast you can do this so this is even much more faster similarly like in case of a dynamic element here like this here you have a feature to directly inspect uh, like regenerate the xpath or test the stability of xpath in the pro version so this will even test your stability of xpath and let you know that this is unstable xpath so there likewise there are many other features as well in pro version which will help you guys a lot like in attribute filter you have an option to generate x path without any attribute as well like in free version you just have this option but in pro version you have this more one more option there and also you get a like if you are working with playwright it automatically generate the playwright selector as well in pro version while in free version you can just edit the playwright selector anyways coming back to the free version okay so here we have the x path healing feature where you can uh, like if your ui got changed and you want to verify all the x path in one shot for your script just click on this xpath healing click on here and copy your complete script and paste that here in selector sub submit and it will fetch all the xpath and source the value here like which all got changed so you can quickly fix them here's the detailed tutorial about this feature you can watch that also like uh, also this xpath healing feature works with all the frameworks all the languages all the uh, like programming languages whatever you work like selenium ruby playwright javascript typescript cypress anything it will work for all of them then uh, in pro version we have a feature where you, it will verify xpath and css selector everything like in xpath healing it just verify in free version only xpath but in pro version you will see that it will verify selector healing is there it will verify xpath css selector everything okay then uh, here coming back here you have a debugger feature which will help you to inspect the dynamic bubble loader dynamic element which immediately disappear so i will show you this feature in the debugger like we always suggest that whenever you use the debugger of selector sub use the selector sub in dev tools now here like let's say for an example here in this uh, website flipkart suppose we search for anything like iphone right click here so you will see that this element got disappear immediately so how you can inspect this pause this element so what you do open selector sub here you have a debugger icon click on this debugger and within 5 second make this element visible then selector sub will pause this element and then you can inspect this now this element is paused here you will see that it will not disappear and you can inspect this element so this is how you can inspect like such kind of dynamic elements as well there is a bubble loader if there is a bubble loader that also you can inspect with this once you are done you can just close this and refresh the page as well you can do so this is the debugger feature here there is a feature like quote so if you want to generate any value with double quote then just click like this like you can do that customize ui there is a customize ui feature like any selectors which you don't want to see in the home page like 
whichever is not required for you that you can uncheck and it will not appear on your web uh, like whenever you will be generating the elements there's a uh, more uh, options here so that you can check it out and whenever you want you can reset them apart from this it also supports all kinds of uh, like elements like i initially mentioned that it supports svg element iframe shadow dom so what you have to do you just have to inspect with this element and like using the selectors of inspector if you start inspecting the element it automatically shows you like you, you see here even without inspecting the element it lets you know that this is svg element similarly if any element will be inside shadow dom it will let you know that this is this element is inside shadow dom if you inspect it gives you the complete script and what supports what not supports everything it tells you if any element will be inside iframe it will generate the xpath for iframe iframe elements and everything so you see that it is letting you know that this element is inside iframe iframe xpath elements xpath any element which is inside multiple iframe that also it will tell you so this really really helps a lot you guys to identify any kind of element and the best advantage of opening selector sub by clicking on this you see that clicking on the logo you see once you open it and then you jump onto the any website and it will work on any website and all the website like a champ if you go to google now you can also inspect this you need not to open again and again so this is very very helpful <clears throat> also you can generate the x path relative to other element as well like access base x path you call them so here you this access x path feature click on this and you have this inspector here first inspect that pro element like let's say we want to generate x path for enter email with respect to user email first inspect user email then you can inspect enter email and here you can see that x path got generated for enter email field with respect to user email similarly like let's say you want to generate x path for resources with respect to products first inspect products and then inspect resources and here you go so this is how you can generate the xpath for any element with respect to other element also like if you want to generate uh, like you don't want to open selector sub and you want to generate the xpath and selectors automatically you just right click and here you see that in the context menu you get all the options here you can copy xpath id name etc from direct from context menu here in pro version you have an advanced feature like you are not able to see the value of these what you are copying but in pro version you can see the value as well before copying so that's another advantage so likewise there are many many features in selectors of which will help you to understand to learn about dom locator xpath like for an example let's say you inspect this uh, comment it will help you to le learn about this that this is a comment if you will make any mistake while writing the xpath or css selector it will help you to learn about that concept that this is wrong this is not possible that is possible what is possible what is not possible everything it will let you know so this very very helpful and if any mistake you will be making like while writing any x any kind of x path it will tell you that this is not possible this is possible like let's say we write x path for double forward slash svg it will let you know that this is invalid svg x path format then what is correct you can see that here so in many many ways it will help you and saves a lot of time so this is the selector sub guys if you have any question let me know this is one of the highest rated XPath and Selectors plugin in Chrome store. In it is in right now at 16th position when I'm making the uh, this tutorial in Chrome Dev Tools. Under Chrome Dev Developer Tools, it has more than one million million downloads and pretty much everywhere it is being used. You can see that. So please do check it out. Learn more about all the features of Selectors. Up, explore them. This will help really help to save a lot of more time and will help you to. Uh, do any kind of uh, to locate any kind of element also saves a lot of time and do check out uh, all our other tools which will help you guys to save more time that thank you and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe so that you don't miss any upcoming innovative tools from our end or any new feature thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you